At Colorado State University Global Campus, online education isn't another thing we do. It's all we do. Get an interactive education that's built for working adults like you and that employers demand. Explore your options at csuglobal.edu. Blog Talk Radio. All right. I feel good today. Tell them how you feel, Gerald. Get up. Let's pray. Come on, Holy Ghost. Talk about the Holy Ghost fire. Come on. experience that is dedicated to honoring the true and only living creator God. Jesus Christ is unashamedly declared to be the only true Savior and the Son of God. I'm your purpose and power-driven host, Ron E. Jefferson, here to bring you the most uplifting and soul in Firing music ever made. Fire is the broadcast that will light, ignite, and fan the flames in your spirit to be that victorious believer in Jesus Christ. Well, hello, and I want to say bless you all. Thank you for joining in on this fire gospel experience one more time. You know, this is a special broadcast because we have special honors to some fabulous people in our lives. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm going to give praise to God Almighty, the great creator, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, first and foremost. But To whom honor is due, honor shall be given. The Lord wants us to appreciate and recognize him, but he also gives us opportunity where we can recognize and show love and appreciation to ourselves and to others. That being said, happy Mother's Day. Happy and blessed Mother's Day to all of you phenomenal women who have sacrificed, who have committed who have raised families and raised God-fearing children to the point where you are some of the most awesome kingdom builders in God's creation, in God's heaven. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. I have some wonderful, wonderful inspiration and surprises for each and every one of you beautiful sisters. If you have no children... We recognize you for having that mother spirit, that mentoring big sister, Auntie TT, sister that have spiritually and in your own unique way have brought children into your world, into your atmosphere, and been such a blessing to them. They look at you just like they do with the spirit of their own mother. So we thank you for allowing God to mold you into that woman and that mother, even if you've never bared your own children. 
You have that mother spirit. We celebrate you as well. We have another phenomenal show. And the only reason I say show is not because I'm here for ratings or accolades or awards. But when I say show, I'm talking about I'm showing y'all what God called me to do. He called me to come on to this broadcast every chance I get and bless you with inspirational music and encouraging and uplifting words. That's what the Fire Ministry broadcast is all about. That's right. I said ministry. So we're going to continue with pulling out those awesome scriptures that just come to my spirit. And we are going to discuss Philippians 4 and 13, where the Bible declares, and I believe it's true, that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened us. We're going to break that down because if you're praying selfish prayers because the Bible says I can do all things, you got to attach the whole scripture verse to it through Jesus Christ. And then other scriptures will let you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all those other things will be added as God desires and so equips you for your calling. We want this mind to be in us that's in Christ Jesus and then you start seeing some things happen. So listen, we're going to talk about that. We're going to empower you. We're going to inspire you so that you can be about the business of being that kingdom builder that God calls you to be. And I'm going to bring on my very special guest, beautiful, beautiful, independent gospel artist, Miss Shanice Hill. Sullivan is going to be here with us. We're going to play her music, and we're going to hear her testimony, and we're going to be uplifted by the very words that she brings to this ministry. I also have another young man that's going to inspire you with Word Up. I'm talking about Doug Jackson is here with us. He's going to give us some inspiration in so many ways. I am on fire. I am loving the fact that I am here with you all today. The devil is already defeated. If you didn't know, he's already overcome according to your faith. So. Call your friends and family and let them know that the airwaves are on fire.
know a man who's mighty and strong. I know a man who can conquer it all. I know a man who will take care He'll of it. He'll lift you up when you fall. His blood will wash you clean. Jesus. He will never leave you alone. Jesus. Yes, this man who gave his life on Calvary, the blood he shed, it will make us strong. accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you have his guarantee according to his word. And he said that he placed his word even above all his great name, that he will never, ever leave you alone. What a beautiful promise we have in God. That's why we thank him. That's why we praise him. That's why we honor him with our very lives and not just with our lips. I am so happy and excited to have a young lady with me who just sang that beautiful, beautiful song. I'm talking about Miss Shanice Hill Sullivan is here with us, hailing out of the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, doing her thing in the gospel music industry with her very own gospel ministry of music. So without any further ado, it is my great privilege to introduce to some and to present to others gospel indie artists. Sister Shanice Hill Sullivan, welcome to Fire Gospel Experience. Sister Shanice, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Brother Ron, for having me on Fire. And I would just like to say also, too, to all the mothers, all the mothers out there, um, just happy Mother's Day. Um, enjoy your day. Um, like you said, you could be a grandmother, sister, auntie, uncle, uh, stepmom, all the mothers, you know, because it does, it does take a village. Uh, mama can't do everything. So I just want to say that, that, um, happy mother's day to all the mothers today. Isn't it a blessing? I mean, isn't it a blessing? I mean, every day is Mother's Day, but I think it's real special that we as a nation and as a world, if it goes all the way around this globe, where we just stop everything we're doing and we're all going to corporately take time out to acknowledge and venerate our beautiful women in our lives by giving them their very own special day. We do this all the time, but I think it's beautiful when we all just stop and make it a national holiday. I think that is one one beautiful effort and one beautiful movement on behalf uh, and contribution to our mothers. Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree. Um, a mother's job is never done. Um, you know, just <laughs> never, instilling, never, never, never done. Never done. Mm-hmm. Instilling yeah. right. So are you, and, you know, like, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, all, ahead. You, so all, you, all you young mothers, y'all think y'all tired now? Y'all just Oof. actually just building up y'all stamina for what's coming ahead. Y'all hang in there. Y'all uh, grab hold to uh, another mother, uh, maybe your age as a peer mother, but definitely as a mentor mother. Grab one of these older sisters and if you don't have one. And just go on and just ask them for the help. I'm sure there'll be somebody God will put in your life that'll be more than happy to uh, just commit with you to being that awesome Godmother. Because we're talking about investing in the future of your children's lives. They need you more than anything. And God wants you to be that vessel that he uses you to bring them closer to him. So, Miss Shanice Hill, I know you have a busy day. I know you're celebrating as well. Let's get right to who you are as a gospel artist. Can you share with my listeners, how did Miss Shanice Hill 
become aware that singing was a calling on her life? Well, since the age of five, um, I would um, have to go to, like, a babysitter. My mother used to work uh, post office mid the night shift, and um, I would stay with a family that would keep us, you know, while she go to work. Uh, they would be playing cards. And, you know, I was just humming to myself one time, and I was singing Shaka Khan at the time. I was only five, uh, mind you. Mm-hmm. And they would have mm-hmm. me for their um, their entertainment while they played cards. So <laughs> I would really be in there getting ready, like I was about to do a grand finale, you know, like I was really doing something. But, you know, as time went on, uh, just, you know, being in the choir in high school, I had a teacher, Miss Hameen. You know, out of the whole choir, you know, she took me out of the choir and said she wanted me to go on some uh, work with me and wanted me to go on, like, uh, school competitions to represent the school. So when that happened, um, I was like, hmm, maybe there's something to this, you know, with the practicing and yeah. at the school. Yeah. And now, you know, I was like, okay, well, maybe this is something that uh, I need to really be doing. And even mm. the thing, I was at the choir at the church. And I just love the thing, you know, and I saw how mm. in the church, how it affects people and uh, you see people, you know, catching the Holy Ghost and everything. And I'm like, yeah, wow, yeah, this, is, yeah. uh, this is what I need to be doing, you know, because I always wanted, I always wanted to be pleasing to God at an early age. I always knew, you know, yeah. God had something special for me to do like he has all of us, you know, and his will, his purpose and his promises to all of us belongs to all of us so even with that being said I had stopped singing and um you know what God had put it back on my heart I was saying my early, my 30s where well, I began to write songs it seemed like he gave me a bonus um and then just began to put right people in my life you know uh orchestrated just the right folks because at one time it was like you know how you don't have the right people around you to help you and motivate mm-hmm. you and, uh you know, get you where you need to be. And so I was just, I had um, told a co-worker, he had did a CD, and I was like, oh, wow, I I really would like to do this. So he introduced me um, to Mr. Uh, Robert, um, uh, uh, um, I can't think of his last name at this point, but um, he he was with the Staple Singers. He was the band leader uh, okay. of the Staple Singers. And, um, I had worked with him on my first project, my first CD project. Then I met another guy, um, you know, just to uh, get another, uh, you know, fresh, you know, another kind of, you know, take on it. Um, mm-hmm. Fred, Fred Wingard, and that's who I currently work with now. Uh, he has a lot of patience and everything with me. So, um, and then, and after that, you know, the music, it just, it just kept on progressing and, um, uh, people would ask me to send them the, send them the music um, on their online stations and things like that, and ask me to come to their churches and uh, various things and um, uh, showcases. And there you go. And this is what I've been mm, doing. Okay. Um, Wonderful. Takes a lot of work. Wonderful. So. Yeah. Now I have been listening to some of your music from a project that you did. I believe it was back in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> And now I understand mm-hmm. that you have new material that you put out in 2017. Tell us about where some of the inspiration from your songs. Are you a, uh, you do write songs or do you write your songs? Yes. And if you do, where does your inspiration come from, Shanice? Yeah, I do write songs. And my inspiration comes with my everyday living, the things that I'm going through in life. Um you know how you just get down sometimes and you get sometimes you get depressed, but you know God is there, but sometimes you just you just don't feel him moving, you know, but he always moving, there's no doubt about that. Um Yes. But this song, uh, Draw Me Nearer, I like I said, the words was just I really need to talk to you, I really need to hear from you. I feel so unsure that you hear my prayer and you feel my pain. You know, when you're going through stuff, you want God to move, but sometimes it's just he, he don't want you. He, you don't have, haven't gotten a lesson yet, and he's not going to move until That's he's ready to move. I don't care how you cry, bag, scream, kick, and holler. If he's not going to move, he just is not going to move. And then that's where your faith and obedience come in at, 
And in the midst in the midst of it, that's where the writing uh that's how that form, that song came about. The other okay. one you just played, He Won't Leave Me Alone. Um, you know how you just sometimes you can feel all alone in this world. Even though you're surrounded by all your family members and people that love you, sometimes you can just feel alone. Have you ever felt that before? Have you ever felt that way? Yes, but, absolutely, I have. Yes, yes, and I'm, I can I can attest, and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. You can be in a room full of folks and feel alone. But the thing yeah. is, with that song, it's just a reminder of all that you're never alone. God is always with you, no matter how you feel. Regardless of um, whatever the, the case may be, the past or uh, if you, you know, going through a storm and you need protection, you know, he guarantees that and he gives us peace and we, everybody should know that, you know, your God is within you, the spirit is within you. Yeah. He dwells yeah. inside yeah. of you. A lot of people don't even know that. They just think, oh, you know. Uh, I have to go to church, and you know they, uh, you know, think. Um, but he dwells down inside of you. He's given us all that spirit because he made us in his image. So yeah. you still just need that reassurance, you know, sometimes. But hey, that's where that song stems from. He won't leave and you I'm alone. A, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Out there. He won't leave you alone. And I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Sometimes you know that lonely feeling. It can be a positive mm-hmm. because sometimes it will call us to go to a quiet place when we feel it alone yeah. and then it seems like yeah. we can't reach anybody or nobody is concerned about us. Whether that's mm-hmm. true or not, sometimes our emotions get it twisted and we'll think that true. that's what's going on. But what, sometimes, though, in those moments, we have that mm-hmm. tendency, those who have faith, says, well, you know what, God? I still know that you are there. Sometimes we can't even feel God, but we don't yep. live by our feelings. The just shall live by our faith, and it's our faith that mm-hmm. tells us God will never leave us. God will never leave us alone. So listen, dear, we're going to continue to um, encourage our listeners after a week come back. I, I don't want you to go nowhere. I want you to just okay. kind of hang out with us for a little while. I know you have some okay. other plans and everything, but listen, we, we're going to come back after we play some more music and then we're going to uh, let you share with our listeners about how you have been such an overcomer in your life because I'm sure that you've had your times of testing. I'm sure you've had your trials when maybe uh, your ministry was actually being challenged and you had to uh, use that faith that God gave you to be able to keep doing what you're doing. So uh, we're going to just, uh, I am so happy and excited and blessed that you are here with us. And uh, listen, we're going to come back to you. Miss uh, Sister Shanice Hill Sullivan uh, is in the house and she's us know that there is always God right there with us. Here's Miss Tania Mamparosa talking about call on me. We're just going to just cut these anointed and God bless sisters loose on y'all today, and we're going to let them create the fire.
Everybody, 
That's it. They don't want none of that. They don't want none of that. They don't want none of that. That's it. Y'all want none of that. Sound of Judah Band up and praise him up in here, up in here on Fire the Gospel Experience. I had to get that out my system, y'all. I know we praising God on this Mother's Day, and I just had to turn loose that spirit of praise right here, having a beautiful time celebrating God and all of his goodness. And we have with us gospel independent artist, vocalist extraordinaire. I mean, a good sister in the Lord doing her thing, praising God in that music ministry that she has. And that is none other than Shanice Hill Sullivan. And I just want to congratulate you because I do understand that you have been nominated for an upcoming award. Sister Shanice, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the accolades that may be coming your way for this awesome music ministry that you have. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in your life with this award that you may be receiving coming up soon. Yes, it is um, It is from the Extra People Awards. And what it is, no, it's not a stellar award, but it is recognizing um, the hard work that you've done, um, everything, you know, the sacrifices that you made. Uh, if you're serving people, you're making a difference, uh, inspirational. It's all cat- all categories that's um, involved in this radio station. But um, uh, what is so unique about this one? Um, they actually put it in, in my name as the Christian Music Award, whereas okay. whomever is getting uh, the award, my name is going to be on it. So I'm just like, wow, that just blew me away. <laughs> I didn't know the significance wow. of it <laughs> until I, yeah. you know, she presented it to me. Her name is uh, Laverne Akwok. Um, she helps a lot of people. I mean, really, she does, and she's the real thing. I've known Laverne. Since mm, I was about eight years, seven years, and when uh-huh. I got started, she was one of the ones who, you know, uh, helped me along the way to get me where, help me get where I am today, and I really appreciate her. Uh, she does this. I want to say this is her third or fourth year doing it, and this time it's held in. Um, it's going to be in um, um, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, September yes, 14, 15. And um, mm-hmm. I, we're just gonna have a phenomenal time. It's it's really like space. It's space based. Uh, in a yes. Way. That's what it is. And it's all different uh, categories. But it is uh, and I, it's kingdom building. Yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And, and I think that that is so encouraging because I know there are a lot mm-hmm. of award ceremonies that go on throughout yes. the year. But what people don't realize <laughs> is that these are just. Uh, evenings and events and opportunities to encourage one another because a lot of times uh, you all don't always get just recognition for your commitment, for your sacrifice. Y'all spend rehearsal time, time away from family, and then you have opportunities that uh, put you on the road where you have to travel. And so you all need these events, and it's okay to get these rewards as long as that's not your sole priority. I'm just going to stack up all these trophies and awards. 
It's good right. that you can be encouraged. It's good that other people can acknowledge what you all are doing. And it's good for you all to meet one another so that you all can possibly create stronger collaborations together. You all can combine your ministries because you don't just sing. A lot of times you all have right. other gifts and talents that may have nothing to do with music ministry where you all can set aside time together and collaborate behind the stage, behind the microphone, and give honor to God with all of those other talents and gifts that you have. Now, before you go, there are people mm-hmm. out there, Shanice, that are going through trials right now, even as we speak, listening to this broadcast. And mm-hmm. uh, can you share with them about maybe without going into intimate details about difficult time that you had in life, maybe a time when your ministry was being challenged by the devil to try to derail your calling? Tell us about how your faith, Shanice, was brought to life. How you brought your stage to the microphone? How you? How, I'm sorry. How you brought your faith to the stage, and how you brought your faith to your microphone of faith, and made it a reality? Because it's one thing to sing about it, but it's something entirely different when you have to take that faith that you sing about and make it real in your life. Share with us maybe a difficult time when your faith brought you through. Well. One time I totally stopped singing, totally. I did, I was not interested. I didn't want to sing anymore. In fact, I even, like, stopped going to church. I just stopped, period, everything. Um, was just going through a lot of stuff. And my faith, that's where my faith had weakened. Um, and then um, I just began to pray and, you know, just ask God for um you know, just to restore. You, sometimes you have to be restored in order to get where you need to go. You know what I mean? That's right. Well, and when yeah. I say that, it's like, um, uh, you. I know we take our problems to Jesus, okay? And I know if we remain persistent in our prayer, you know, um, God is going to, you know, call. I mean, he's going to help you, you know. He's going to help you. But sometimes... It don't seem like he's healthy. And then, you know, mm. just Come on. kinda like wanna just give up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But then there was this like, you know, he talks to you. Like he this song, he talks to you, he walks with you and he talks to you. And he yeah. just kept telling me, Don't give up. You never to give up and that's for anybody. Please, if you ever thinking mm. about giving mm. up, never give up. Because now you say he you say he talked to you. How did you hear yeah. the voice of God? How did he actually talk to you? You know, and it, you know somebody else asked me that too. But like you were saying earlier, you know how you get along with him. You can mm. he can mm-hmm. he he makes it where you you have no other choice. Where mm. you alone in his presence, you know, and mm. it's like you just I'm I'm walking along uh, with him, you know, and um, that's right. And you can hear if you're quiet. You can hear his voice, and he knows his children, and you can hear his That's voice. Right. You can hear him talking to you, but you got to mm-hmm. be willing. And 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 um, and it's like he puts stuff in perspective, and then too you'll start seeing things come together, and you're like, oh my god, Thank this could you. not be Thank man. You. you know what I'm Thank saying? You. It's like man yes. cannot do this. This is all God mm-hmm. doing. And then you begin mm-hmm. to build that faith, start to come back. You know, it just started building and building. And then you start taking yourself back to church, you know, and, you know, praying even more so and getting with people, prayer partners, whatever you have to do to get yourself to the next level and stay there. Talk about that. You know, That's you right. don't get Talk depressed. Because yeah. uh, depression can seek in and, and sit for a long time. And uh, mm-hmm. we as black mm-hmm. people, you know, we Ooh. get depressed because we don't see this and we don't have enough funds or, you know. Mm-hmm. The situation can be, you know, we got to pay that bill, uh, lost a job, mm-hmm. a husband, or all these things, you know. Nobody's exempt from it. However, we have to know whatever we're going through. I know it seems dark, lonely, but there's, I know you. everybody gets sick of hearing that. There is sunshine. And, and and it's mm-hmm. like you get you know what it is? It's like you have it's growth. And that's what it really is. It makes you that's grow. That's what it is. 
to be become yeah. to the person that you, God is trying to make you, that God wants you to be, you know. And yeah. you yeah. know, it don't happen overnight. It, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. However, it's the things that's happening to you as you're going through this. But you know, with your faith, and you know, mm. God has did it before, so He's going to do it again. You know. Yeah. Um, yes. It's it's um. Now that's that's just real talk. I like the fact that you said uh basically you talk about how things come together. See what we have to understand is is that God will work circumstantially when it seems like certain things are happening for your good, that's God behind the scenes, very quietly making mm-hmm. his presence known through your circumstances. It's not luck. It's not that you just happen to be in the right place at the right time. That is the hand mm-hmm. of God that is leading you through open doors one step at a time. If God just instantaneously delivered us from everything we went through, we would never develop a mature, seasoned faith. It's called seasoned yes. And matured yes. faith He takes yes. us from one level of belief To the next level of belief So that we can be able To stand and declare Him as God Regardless of the situation Don't let me start preaching up in here Listen to me, Go I know you got plans <laughs> We're going to have to bring you back another time When you have a little bit Go more ahead. time We appreciate you doing what you're doing. We thank you for taking the time out to be here with us on Fire the Gospel Experience. Can you tell us about how we can get in touch with you? How can we download your music, buy your music so we can continue to support your ministry so that you can keep on being that awesome kingdom builder? How can we stay in touch with you? Social media and what's your personal contacts? There's promoters out there. There's pastors out there that are looking for somebody spirit feel just like you to come to their next event and be a blessing yes you can call me anytime on my cell phone my cell number is 773-512-3383 again 773-512-3383 i have a um, email would be shanice s-h-u-n-i-c-e at sbcglobal.net I also have a website, www.shanice, S-H-U-N-I-C-E-H-I-L-L-S-U-L-L-I-N.com, ShaniceHillSullivan.com. You can catch me on mm-hmm. Twitter, would be Shanice Sullivan, at Shanice Sullivan, Instagram, Shanice number seven. And um, right. all the music, all the music is on the all uh, digital outlets, um, Spotify, uh, uh, CD Baby, uh, Google Plus. Um, oh, Amazon, CD Baby, yeah, those things. Mm-hmm. You can catch it. You can find it everywhere. Um, it's out there. Um, That's good. Uh, yes. So thank you, thank you so much. And um, please, I be. Well, I welcome you to call me, contact me, whatever. Even if you have any questions, you know. Um, um, and I would like to give out the website for the www for the Extra People's Award. If you feel uh-huh. that um, you you are in the ministry and you feel you have worked hard, um, you can go visit the website www.extrapeopleawards.com and check it out. And see if um, you'll be interested in that. And just let them know that Shanice sent you. Um, That's right. And um, you have to send your bio and email, and they will look over your over your stuff. All right. All of that. All of that. And you can get all of <laughs> uh, most of that information regarding uh, awesome gospel independent artist Miss Shanice Hill Sullivan on my fire Facebook page. You'll have information about the um, EPA awards as well. Um, So listen, if you're a person of purpose and if you are in the body of Christ and if you are doing awesome things where you are, you may want to consider giving uh, this an opportunity to uh, let your acknowledgments 
and let your efforts be made known. Extraordinary People Awards. So uh, go to my FIRE Facebook page. You'll see information there. You'll see some videos of uh, uh, Shanice Hill Sullivan as well and her contact information. We want to support each other because, really, it's all about kingdom building. Listen, uh, Shanice, God bless you. God's favor be with Thank you, be on you. We are going to continue to support you. We love you. We love your music. And uh, you belong to the Fire Gospel Experience now. We're going to claim you as our very own. Thank you so much for Thank doing you. what you're doing Thank for you, Ron. Jesus. Thank you so much, Ron. And you too. We appreciate you. Are. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> you enjoy the rest of your mother's day. Be blessed. That is Shanice Hill Sullivan right here on Fire, the Gospel Experience. We are going to continue with the awesome Fire Experience that will bless your heart, bless your mind, bless your body and soul. So sit back and relax because we're about to set this thing on fire for real.
a time when I was discouraged and depressed Felt like I really had nothing left to live for, to strive for It felt like days in I was careful That's when I knew there's no case I'm there to cry Couldn't give a hoot about my Excuse man's pride expression. Excuse the I'm just expressing I'm expressing how I felt when I was going through I couldn't do, felt like I really had no hope Father, forgive us, but we don't know what we do. Hallelujah. It's time to let them know. It's time to let them know. Pray for them, Ted. This is how I'm going to minister to National and Independent Gospel Music Association proudly presents the 10th Annual Rhythm of Gospel Awards Weekend, hosted by Michelle Prather and your brother in Christ, Jamal Bates, honoring Dr. Teresa Harrison, Pastor Rudolph Stanfield, B. Michael McKay, and National Recording Artist, Kirk Hawk, with special performances by Apostle James Austin and Fellowship, Kara Nicole, K. Morris, Lady T, C. Ashley Brown Lawrence, Frozen Lot Hayes, Malcolm Williams, and Great Faith. St. John Divine Praise Dancer, Marquise Williams, B. Chase Williams, and Shabbat, Todd Curry, 
Carl Hearn and Priesthood, Dr. E. LaQuaint Weaver, and the Hallelujah Singers, and the Kurgemon Community Choir. For more information and tickets, log on to therhythmofgospelawards.com or dial 210-745-5858, extension 102. You don't want to miss it. No, you don't want to miss another awesome gospel event going on, 2018 Rhythm of Gospel Awards. You want to go to my Facebook page, Fire, you can get more information and get your tickets, and you can be there and enjoy yourself at another phenomenal event surrounded by the people of God. You know, we have been discussing some of those powerful scripture verses and Philippians 4 and 13 was in my spirit where it talks about we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Uh, So the question is, what are those things? You know, we could get caught up sometime. We can spend and waste so much of our time of life and Christian stewardship focusing on on the wrong things, things that are only temporary and unfruitful, and then we pray that God will bless us anyway. The key to doing all things through Christ is letting this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Philippians 2 and 5, submission is the crucial element of mindset of being successful in Christ and in all things. You just heard new music from Theodore Chestnut with a song titled T-I-T-L-E, which means take it to the Lord every day. And before that, my special guest, Miss Shanice Hill Sullivan with Draw Me Nearer, giving you the very best in inspiration, giving you the very best in gospel music. Sometimes we just got to rest our minds. We be wanting God to do so many things for us. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But there's those times when we need to pull away from the activities of life, from all of those whirlpools of issues and agitations that are going on in our world. Here's Miss Sheila Moore Piper singing it better than I can say it right now with a song entitled Rest Your Mind. Keep up 
fire. That gospel experience is here to enlighten you. And we are discussing do all things through Christ Jesus. You know, there is no human and earthly circumstance where our faith in Christ cannot lead us to overcoming. Sometimes it's about the time that's involved that makes it relevant due to the Lord allowing a seasoning of our faith to take place. You know, we pray and sometimes expect a more instantaneous response. And when that does not happen, we suppose incorrectly that God has distanced himself from us. The doubt and our enemy will attempt to magnify a sense of insecurity to reduce active faith from manifesting. And this is exactly where our focus of faith needs to be. That God has decided to allow us to walk through our circumstances through optimism. This is where we begin, beloved, and does it into our faith connection to Jesus Christ, who does those impossible accomplishments. And that without faith in Christ, we would never be able to do on our own. So don't you dare give up. Don't you know that God is right here with us, giving us everything that we need. So you just hold on, beloved. We are here for one another. We have to hold on to each other's hand. We have to pray for each other. And we have to continue to ask the Lord to do for us those things that we know we cannot do for ourselves. So you just hold on. Don't you dare give up. Let God do the work in your life. And I promise you, you'll come through with a testimony that will be mind-blowing, that will just elevate somebody else to go just a little bit higher in their faith. So let those words sink down in your spirit. And please know that you are never, ever alone. Here's new music right here on fire. That gospel experience. I only knew 
Gospel artist Miss Lindsay Slayton here on Fire the Gospel Experience, letting you know, dear Lord Jesus, it doesn't matter what's going on, I'll still believe. He's done so many great things. Don't you know that there's nothing that can tear us away from our awesome God? And before that, we heard my mom Sanders with If I Only Knew Then. Oh, Jesus. What I know now, but I'm just glad, and I'm so glad that we know what we know now because it is true. God is eternal, and he has kept every promise that he's ever made. I want to take time now to give some special recognition to all of you beautiful mothers out there. This is your day. Every day is your day. But we have something special for you, a day where we're going to commemorate you, lift you up, and show you more love than we have all year long.
You're listening to Fire, that gospel experience here for your overall spiritual enlightenment and inspiration. We are turning these awesome ladies of gospel music loose on y'all today. Here is Dana Fields letting you know that it is personal, but what is meant to be? Yes, yes, yes. It is meant to be. Fire, 
Whatever you do, Lord, please don't take your spirit away. New music from Larry Kreider and the group His Glory. Don't take your spirit. And before that, we heard Dana Fields with To Be. I was just meant to be used by you, Lord, and not just me, but for everyone that believes. We are in the fire gospel experience. So happy to have you all with me, celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ with no shame and with no apologies. I want to send a big shout out to Michelle Brooks Thompson, release of her new single, I Am Triumphant, and also for the privilege she had to sing the national anthem at the Boston Celtics and Cleveland Cavaliers Eastern Conference Game 1 in Boston, Massachusetts. Congratulations, good sister. Keep moving forward. Keep letting them know that Jesus is the light of the world. God opens those doors. All y'all got to do is just stay faithful. Here's Michelle Brooks Thompson with I Am Triumphant. And we certainly know that God is a way maker. He will get us out of any and every situation we find ourselves in. So Philippians 4 and 13 is so true. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. He keeps us and he shall deliver us like only he can. You're listening to the fire broadcast. I'm your host, Ron E. Jefferson. The battle may be raging, trouble all around. You're crying out to Jesus for a way out. Hold to your faith. Finish the race. He's on. You've already won. 
Victor, and if you don't know that, just keep living by faith, and I promise you, God will do what he said he would do. He will show up on time. There is no power that can defeat our Lord God Almighty. He will give you the victory. Sounds of Michelle Brooks Thompson here on Fire, the Gospel Experience. Before that, Larry Kreider and his, his for his glory, don't take your spirit away. Dana Fields letting us know that it's meant to be, and everybody recognized that classic song, From Boys to Men, a song for Mama, giving out dedication and much love and appreciation to all you mothers out there. Don't you know our spirit of contentment allows us to remain as viable, holy instruments of God? This great inner peace that we have is learned through proceeding through the trials of life by faith, beloved. Places use in unique positions. It places us in those unique positions to be ready, willing, and able vessels regardless of our current state. We don't let environment, atmospheres, and contingencies derail us from our being used by God to do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Amen. Here is Miss Ree, Serena Ree Green, with In the Middle, God. He does what he does right in the middle. See 
you right in the middle of it. Changed my story right in the middle of it. You were there right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Control right in the middle of it. I'm living my life right in the middle of it. Living my life right in the middle of it. Change my heart right in the middle of it. Change my mind right in the middle of it. Save my family in the middle of it. Save my marriage in the middle of it. And kill my children in the middle of it. Sounds of breeze right here on Fire the Gospel Experience in the middle of it. The Word of God lets us know in Ephesians 5 and 17, it says, Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And again, in Psalms 119 and 1, just so that y'all won't think it's just me up here talking and playing records, the Bible says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. And I leave you with this in Ezekiel 2.10. It says, moreover, he, talking about God, said to me, said to the prophet Ezekiel, son of man, receive into your heart all my words that I speak to you and hear with your ears. So open up your ears, open up your mind. And let the word of God sink down into your deeper recesses of your soul so that you can live victoriously just as the Bible created you to be. I am so excited to have you all joining me. You all are so faithful to support this radio ministry fire, the gospel experience. I'm going to continue to bring you the very best in gospel artists, pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists to encourage you in your this most holy faith that God gave us, and I'm going to continue to give you the very best in gospel music. I want to thank my special guest, Miss Shanice Hill Sullivan, for spending time with us on this special Mother's Day celebration. Thank you all for joining me. I pray that you be blessed. I pray that every good thing that comes your way, you receive with power from God Almighty. I'm talking about he himself will come down and just bless you with everything that he's got. And trust me when I tell you, he's got a lot. Exodus 3 and 20 says, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of the bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. So until next time, I'm going to pray for you and love you. So guess what? You don't have no other choice but to pray for me in this ministry and love me back. So until next time, I leave you with love, prayer. Pray the Holy Spirit will cover you, keep you, protect you, lead and guide you. Until next time, be blessed in the Lord.
You have 10 days to deal during the Jeep Celebration event at Millsboro Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. That's right, only 10 days to get an additional $1,000 bonus cash on our most popular vehicles. Take an additional $1,000 off select new Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, or Ram trucks. 10 days to deal, and you can choose from over 500 vehicles and 0% financing is available. 10 days to deal ends May 14th. So hurry to Millsboro Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram and online at MillsboroCDJR.com. Progressive presents Get Pumped, inspiration to help you do insurance stuff. Okay, time out. You're going to let your budget be the boss of you? Take control with Progressive's Name Your Price tool. Tell us what you want to pay for car insurance, and we'll help you find options that fit your budget. Here's some music to get you pumped. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -dang -dang. I hear your budget laughing at you. Oh, wait, that's just those kids laughing at me. Ignore them! Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law.